Okay, I made a real boo-boo when I was showing you the construction of the receiver. I apologize for it. I had all the parts sitting on the side and for some reason decided not to use them. When you get old like I am, uh, you know you, the saying, an old fart? Well, really this was a brain fart here. But your plate has to be insulated from the ground rod. So I had these pieces that go in the back, which allow for insulation here, or shall we say isolation, the same in here. And here was my connection to the uh, L3 coil, which goes to the ground rod. Well, what you need to, to insulate this with is you've got to ensure that the screws going through don't touch the aluminum. So here's how I go about that. There's a material that uh, you can get at a sewing store or a craft store and they use it to make designs with different colored threads and it's just like a big big cheesecloth only it's plastic and you can cut it very easily with these special little pliers that I've totally switched to and gotten rid of dikes. But anyway, <clears throat> what you do then is you cut it, you cut your design however you want it so that you can take and, and use it as a spacer insulator. Then what you merely do is take a one hole punch and punch out a hole and then your screw will go through it. Now for insulating the screw, what I have here is a piece of plastic tubing and the plastic tubing goes over the screw and of course you have to you have to take and adjust the size so that your nut will tighten up whatever you're working with then when you put your insulator on the insulator slips down over the top of the the tubing which is here and now you've got an insulation if you put metal on this side then you've insulated it from anything on this side. So I really do apologize for that. Uh, like I said, I had it laying here and for some reason something happened with my brain that I totally ignored it. Now one way to find out if everything's going to be okay is take a meter and go through here and check every one of these connections to be sure there's no resistance at all that it's an open. You don't want that rod to connect to this plate whatsoever or you're going to end up with a Faraday cage and it's not going to work. I discovered my mistake when I went ahead and assembled it and then began testing and nothing was working. I, it blew my mind. So then I, I was sitting here at the bench looking and I'm saying, oh my gosh, I forgot to put the insulators in. So anyway, I hope I hope this is remembered when someone starts replicating this. And please don't start replicating yet. I have a couple more things to cover with it. And then you're free to get going, but just like what happened here, I could I could cause a problem in that you could go absolutely nuts and not wonder what happened. So anyway, that's it. Sorry for the